Hello and welcome again to this review video. So today is our last day, the third day of the INETS meeting. And I don't know if you agree with me, Wutter, but today it has been the PRT day. So exactly. We had new clinical data, new potential markers, new ra radio tracers, and also new potential selection of patients for who will be the best one to treat in its time point. Yeah. You gave an, an, an amazing talk this morning. Thank you. Uh, no, you, you repeated the data presented two months ago, but with a different style and with new data. Can you explain a little bit? Yes, of course. So I presented another two uh, results that study in patients with uh, high grade two and uh, low grade three neuroendocrine tumors. And uh, there was a statistically significant difference in uh, progression-free survival between the two groups. So that sounds very promising for the future because maybe uh, we can have an opportunity to register PRT as a first line therapy for uh, specific cases uh, of patients with um, high grade 2 and low grade 3 tumors. And of course, there are some, uh, some other trials uh, still to be awaited for the results like COMPETE and COMPOSE. Maybe that will all the com combinations of the results will pave the way for a whole new approach with regard to PRT in patients with, uh, well, grade two, grade three neuroendocrine tumors. It's fantastic, no? If you remember some years ago when we had no few treatment options to treat our patients with uh, neuroendocrine tumors in general. Yeah. And now, no, we had two phase three studies positive with PRT. We are waiting at least two additional global phase three studies no, to have results in the next maybe two or three years, we will have a lot of evidence yes. no, to treat and to select which are the patients that can get better benefit and the time point yeah. no, to, to, to give this selective therapy uh, for our patients. Speaking for both of us, we really enjoy today and uh, we are looking forward to next year's meeting in uh, Krakow. <laughs>